Welcome everybody, welcome to this new video and today in this video we are going to talk about autonomous ships and that's a very interesting topic because you have to know that in the future boat will be autonomous we will see some examples of autonomous ships we're going to talk about the official definition of what, what is it an autonomous ship and of course we're going to talk about the benefits and the weaknesses of using artificial intelligence so to start with the video i'm going to talk about the definition uh, the i can say the uh, official definition of autonomous ships so you have to know that the maritime safety committee at the international maritime organization just propose one definition of autonomous autonomous ships which is uh, maritime autonomous surface ships so that's the, the, I can say, the technical term to say autonomous ships, which is uh, very interesting and very important to know because you will see this term a few times. And you have to know that this organization includes four degrees of autonomous ships because, of course, uh, ships can be 100% autonomous or less. So we're going to, to talk about it because we have different degrees of, uh, of that. So the first one, this is degree one. On degree one, this is a ship with automated process and decision support, but the, the seafarers are on board the ships. So the ships take decision, but you have the crew on board. So that's the degree, degree one. We already have some boats uh, with this degree. We have the degree two. Uh, this is a remotely controlled ship operated from another location but you have uh, mainly you have one seafarer on board just in case of failure in case of problem but mainly bo the boat is controlled ashore one crew member on board of course it's a good point because you have you still have someone on board but you have less people than a normal ship so it's uh, less uh, expensive because you don't need a big crew you just need one person so that's the degree two then you have the degree three so the degree three, this is a remotely controlled ship with no seafarer on board. So this one, uh, everything is controlled, uh, is controlled offshore, but you have nobody on board. It will be the next step in the industry, this kind of boat. Some project just develop the degree three maritime autonomous surface ships. So that's the degree three. Then you have the last one, the degree four. Uh, this is a fully autonomous ships. You don't have uh, human factors. No, no one de decide. Uh, or control the boat so that's the one person the 100 percent autonomous ships and it will be the future on the goal so of course to develop this kind of boat we need to start with degree one then degree two degree three degree four we already have degree one and degree two and now we try to develop degree three and degree four boats and then i'm going to show you some projects that's the definition of autonomous ships so now you know what is the the term to say autonomous ships you know that there are four degrees um, when we talk about autonomous ships. It can be very interesting to know when you have a startup who want to create a, a ship. The first question you can ask this is what degrees your ships will be. If this is a degree three, um, this is autonomous, but you have a person who control the boat uh, in the marina, for example, I don't know. Or if it will be a degree four, so 100% autonomous ships. That's a very interesting question. Uh, and of course, what is the benefit of autonomous ships? So now we're going to switch to the second question. So there are a lot of benefits to do it. So the first one, you have to know between 75 and 89 percent of maritime accidents, this is human factors. So I think if we use the algorithm to control bot, we're going to just decrease the number of accidents. It can be a, the number of accidents, the human factors is. Uh, has a lot of consequences about accidents. Globally, there are uh, approximately 3,000 uh, collision each year uh, at sea, uh, and it costs more than $20 billion, which is huge. And you have to know with autonomous technologies, we can just work on it, uh, we can avoid collision, we can decrease the number of collision. So that's a big challenge, but it can it can work actually. So I think the security will be the one of the biggest motivation about autonomous ships. And of course, if you have an accident uh, in with autonomous ships, you don't lose human, you don't have uh, people who die uh, in the boat, which is very important. So the the safety that's something very interesting with autonomous ships, and of course avoiding collision with artificial intelligence and machine learning. That's uh, a lot of companies just work on it. You have already a lot of projects about 
um, avoiding collision, reusing some uh, sensor, some uh, radar. Uh, then the second motivation, so the benefit number two will be uh, reducing the fuel consumption because of course using artificial intelligence, the computer ju can just optimize the route to just consume less fuel and that's very, very important uh, because we have a big problem about consumption on, on board ships. But of course, we have another big problem with artificial intelligence if you use autonomous ships. We have the reliability, you have to know that on board ships you have engineer, you have um, chief engineer, you have a lot of the crew, you have a lot of people in case of failure. We can just work on the engine, maintain the ship's propulsion, but without human, the, we cannot do it. So if there is a problem at sea with the engine, nobody can, can repair the boat. So it's a big problem right now and we have to work on it. So the reliability will be the biggest problem with autonomous ships. Then of course we have the regulation. So everything about collision, if boats are 100% autonomous, uh, it, it means that it's the machine who drive the boat and we have to trust the machine. And then another problem, a big problem, this is cyber security. You have to know that we can just hack the, the, the program, we can hack uh, the, the algorithm on the boat can be compl completely crazy. It can be a scenario, it can be a problem. Then we have also the pirates, the people who just uh, want to steal everything on board. So we have to work on cyber security because if boats are 100% autonomous means that we, it will be 100% with computer and we know that computer it's not 100% safe and people can hack the system it can it can be a supposition so we have to work on the safety the cyber security it will be a big challenge is to have another problem in terms of law and the legal issue issue if we have a problem who is responsible for the problem if we have a collision it will be the, the responsibility of the company, of the shipbuilder, of the technology on board, the company who developed the technology. We don't know we, which person, what person will be the problem in case of failure. So in terms of law, it will be quite challenging to just uh, uh, fix every problem on board. So that's every problem and every challenge we need to work on if you want to develop ships, uh, autonomous ships. And last but not least, uh, I'm going to talk about two big pro projects. That's the goal of the video to show you that this technology exists. Actually, we have a lot of projects. So the first one, this is uh, Yara uh, Birkeland. Sorry for the pronunciation. It's not uh, necessarily the, the, this pronunciation, but Yara Birkeland, which is ships, is the world's uh, first fully electric and autonomous container vessel with zero emissions. So this boat, I think it's a degree three because we have you have a remote operation center. This center will perform voyage planning, handle emergency, uh, condition monitoring, operational monitoring, decision support, etc. So you have the human control the boat, but the boat you have nobody on board. The boat is um, almost 100% autonomous. This boat already did some sea trial uh, in Norway. Uh, so, but you have to note that the company. We develop every technology system is Krongsberg, which is a big company that providing all the key technologies such as sensor, batteries, propulsion control system, etc. This is a, a company based in Norway. Um, so you have to know that this project take place in Norway. And I think a lot of Scandinavian countries work on autonomous ships. I noticed that when I, I tried to find information about it. A lot of Scandinavian countries like Sweden, Norway, just try to work on uh, innovation and work on autonomous ships. So that's uh, very important to know. So this boat, that's the first project we have, uh, one of the biggest one in autonomous ships. Then we have another one in the other part of the globe, which is in the uh, United States. This is Sail John. So I think Sail John is quite famous now uh, because it's now a big company. Uh, Sail John is the world leader in providing ocean data solution with autonomous surface vehicles. So it's more a vehicle than a boat because you can see uh, how it, it looks like. It's not the ships, but we use a lot of interesting technology. So the goal of this company is just to using boats, autonomous boats to collect data. Uh, and you have to know that this vehicle have sailed more than 900,000 nautical miles and spent more than 22,000 days at sea collecting data that provides a lot of information about climate, mapping, maritime security, 
etc. This is a 23 foot long I can say boat that can sail at an average speed of three knots. So of course, depending on the wind and it can stay at, at sea for up to one year, which is huge. So that's very interesting, this project, because it's the beginning of autonomous ships. So yes, I wanted to show you these two projects. In the future, we will see more projects about uh, artificial intelligence, about everything about uh, auto developing autonomous ships. It's very important, you have to know. So yes, I hope this video was helpful for you. I know there are a lot of information and it's not very organized, but I just want to, sh to, to show you that autonomous ships is the future and to show you what is the problem we have to improve, as I said, in terms of cyber security, um, reliability, uh, law, etc. That's the future, always. I already say that because it's, it's the case. Uh, it will be the case, I'm 100% sure. There is no alternative of autonomous ships. So thank you again for watching this video and see you for the next video. Mm -hmm.